Of course he knows. He's smart. I am referring to Governor Ned Lamont. He knows the budget awfulness. He knew that a year ago when he entered the race for governor. But he's not pressed by a system that would push him to divulge all that he knows. He is a relatively good guy in a bad system. I will call it a horrible system. A system where, this is true more so of Democrats, but Republicans too, where the truth gets buried and it's actually expected, okay? Candidates over and over, ooh, our deficit is worse than I thought. I can't possibly keep the promises that I campaigned on. And we've come to expect it. That's why it's not a big deal when Ned Lamont goes and does something different. It was in the cards. So what can we do? Change the system, okay? Good people in a horrible system means we should keep the good people and ditch the system. Third parties do that. I am a founder of a third party, mainly for the sake of having candidates who can be candid and not be pushed to the side of their party's orthodoxy. Ned Lamont, once again, in a two-party system, didn't have to get deeply pressed, in part because his opponent was even less candid. Guess <laughs> Stefanowski, you couldn't get anything out of him. So, by contrast, why should Ned get really candid, really deep, when in the two-party system, it couldn't help on the election side. When there's multiple candidates really in play, when there's four or five electable candidates, it elevates every candidate. They can't obfuscate over and over and over again. Another thing that three and four parties does is it keeps the big parties from burying things. There are things that were mutually good to be submerged in the last campaign, okay? Republicans didn't really want to get into the 35 to 40 hour work week boondoggle because that was signed off on Republican John Rowland. Republicans probably didn't really want to push as hard as they should against all the largesse of tier one and tier two because Rowland bought into it, a Republican Senate, not run by them, but you didn't see much of an objection. And all of those bond measures over and over and over again, Roll, sorry, Roland, Rell, and Weicker, they didn't need a bond measure they didn't like. When you have multiple parties, then prurient things that should come up do. And it is right to call out a two-party, both guilty system, and you need a third party to be doing that. I'm the founder of a third party that I'd like people to take a look at for lots of reasons. And we're not automatically opposed to good Republican or d good Democrat candidates. We'll pad them, <clears throat> run well, govern with integrity. You won't face opposition from the Amigo group, but don't have integrity, don't keep your promises, and expect there to be opposition from ours. I'm Mark Greenstein of the Amigo Constitution Liberty Party. Americans for Minimal Government is another way to put it. We're actually part of the resistance. We Resist.us is where you can find Amigo candidates and others looking to expand the system for everyone's benefit.